In the name of the one holy and undivided Trinity, amen. Amen. Please be seated. It's Trinity Sunday, one of the more mysterious of feast days in the church year, but I think about it as a hinge or a turning point in the church year, because we begin in Advent looking forward to the incarnation. We continue with Christ's birth, childhood, ministry, and adulthood through Epiphany, and then we hit Lent where we are, where he is traveling towards the cross, and then of course Holy Week, death and resurrection. We celebrate that all through the Easter season. Then Ascension, when his earthly life concludes, we wait for the coming of the Spirit, which God promised, and that was last Sunday, Pentecost. And so here, Trinity Sunday, we get to kind of look back at all of that, kind of like a scenic overlook, and just ponder what that means, what that revelation of God means based on that whole story. And then the rest of the year, the long green season, as it's called, the season after Pentecost, it's called ordinary time, but it's anything but ordinary. It's where we try to follow Christ more, love him more, be more like him. So this is a hinge day in the, in the, feast, in the church year. And to help us tell it a little bit, I've asked three friends to, to help with a three-part meditation. I think I'm going to push this. Okay, this is going to stay where it is. That's fine. <laughs> well, I will move it. I am one and yet not one. We are three, yet, and yet not three. three. We are a divine mystery. mystery. We, we are, are love. love. Before time, we were. A circle of love. We dance together, an infinite dance of giving and receiving, a dance of joy. Our love spilled over. That's what love does. It, it cannot, cannot be, be contained. contained. Our love spilled over and life began. I spoke and brought light out of darkness. I am the wind that hovered over the water. I am the elements and the miracle that binds them together. I gave birth to the planets. I listened <clears throat> as the stars sang together for the first time. I swaddled the earth with clouds to make a home for living creatures. I am the blueprint, the pattern you seek to discern. I am the wisdom woven into everything. I am the breath of life in all creatures, seaweed and grasses, trees and fungi, starfish and blue whales, Hummingbirds, monkeys, all the species that exist or have existed or will exist. We, we rejoice, rejoice in our creation. creation. We, we made one, one creature, creature who, who could, could look, look back, back at us and, us and see us. At least catch a glimpse of us. A creature, no, a community of creatures born to live together in love. We made them in our own image and we delighted in them. We, we gave, gave them, them our, our own freedom. freedom. So they too could choose to love and join the dance. But true freedom means the freedom to reject our dream. Our beloved people don't always choose love. Sometimes they listen to the voice of fear. The voice that tells them that they are not enough, not safe, not loved. And so they grasp for control and affection and security and trample others on the way. They, they turn, turn away, away from, from us. us. They forget they are part of the dance. They fear we will judge and punish. It is so hard to convince them of our eternal love and mercy. In ancient times, we chose a tiny oppressed nation to be our messenger, to shine with our light, to set the world free from fear. You wonder why we chose Israel? Because they were suffering under oppression and slavery. They had no illusions about their own strength. They cried out to us for liberation. We set them free and led them home. Where they could join the dance again. And they did. But not always. How painful it is when brothers and sisters refuse to live together in unity. When they hurt one another. But we had another plan. From before time. Love always has another plan. 
Love never gives up. I was born into the world to show them how much we love them. Our, our mystery, mystery was, was made, made flesh. flesh. At the still center of the dance, our endless love was embodied in a vulnerable newborn baby. A lover is vulnerable without the beloved. The baby grew into a man. He healed and he fed the people. And taught them about love and justice. He called them back to the dance. He spoke the truth no matter what. They were threatened and they killed him. We watched him die. We died with him. But love never dies. We, we are, are the Alpha, Alpha and, and the Omega, Omega the, beginning the beginning and, and the, the end. end. We raised him from the dead. And now they must know that nothing, nothing can, can separate them from, from our love. love. Not sin or fear. Not suffering or death. Nothing at all. They were born to be part of the dance. To share our joy. The dance never ends. Come, Come all, all of, of you, and share our joy. Come, Come and, and dance, dance with us. us. Come, Come and, and drink, drink from, from the living, living water, and never, never be thirsty, thirsty again. again. Amen. Thank you. Just take a few moments of silence and contemplate the Trinity. <laughs> 